Hello, I'm Google. And I'm YouTube. YouTube, you got to admit, when it comes to helping people find what they're looking for online, I'm the champ. Yeah, most of the time you're the best at that. Most of the time. Most of the time? I mean, what do you mean most of the time? I have the most advanced search algorithm in the history of the world. People go to you to see funny cat videos and do karaoke for free. True, true, but I'm also where people come when they want to know how to do something or they want to learn something new. And people spend way more time with me than they do with you. Oh, that's low. Pick on my relationship skills, eh? You sure know how to hurt a guy. In reality, Google and YouTube are both good at helping find the videos you want to see, but for totally different reasons. Here's why. Eric, is searching for videos on YouTube and Google really all that different? I mean, Google owns YouTube, right? Yes, they do. But even searching for the exact same query on YouTube and Google often yields very different results. Really? Yes. We recently did a study where we looked at the results for over 400 queries that show video results in both YouTube and Google. We found that in most cases, the rankings of videos were quite different between the two platforms. Oh, can you give us an example? Sure. So we entered 12 Angry Men, the title of a classic movie, into both Google and YouTube. And you see the results here. Google showed a video from this query at positions 9, 14, and 15. Now, since YouTube shows only video results, of course you might expect that those would be the first three results, i.e. 1, 2, and 3 on YouTube, and in the exact same order, but they weren't. As you can see, they actually came in at 5, 3, and 1 in that order, but it was 9, 14, and 15, so it wasn't even in the same order. In fact, yes, they were reverse order. Exactly, the reverse of the ranking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we saw a great many similar results where the rankings on YouTube varied significantly from how the same videos were ranked on Google for the exact same search query. So exactly how much do they differ in our study results? Yes, as you see in this chart, about 65% of the time, the queries for Google showed multiple videos. The number one video was not the same on the two platforms. And that held true for just over 55% of all the queries we looked at, whether Google returned multiple videos or not. In fact, for about 57% of the queries in our test set, the order of ranking was different between Google and YouTube. And the more videos there are in the Google result, the more likely it is that the order of ranking differs from YouTube. Okay, so that brings us to the question, why? Why do YouTube and Google rank videos so differently? Well, I think it's primarily caused by two things difference in user intent and the monetization strategies for the two sites. Well, how does user intent vary between Google and YouTube? Well, Google's goal is to deliver a result that causes you to get what you are looking for on a paid view basis. Everything is transactional and short-term in nature. And by page view basis, I take it you mean that Google is comparing videos it might show in response to a query against every other kind of result it could show on that page of results. Exactly. And by transactional, I mean that the typical Google searcher is looking for the one best answer for whatever they're searching for, and they're done. In contrast, a typical YouTube visitor is going to be there for a while. He or she is there specifically to see videos, and, this is, and they're very often actually willing to watch more than one. Sure. Now, you also mentioned the monetization strategy of the two platforms. Yes, and that follows from the difference in user intent. How so? Well, both platforms are monetized by the ads that show on them. They both know that the more they satisfy what the user comes there for, the more time the user will spend on them, being exposed to more ads and therefore creating chances to make more money. So for Google, that means showing ads that are most likely to satisfy the user's immediate need. Whereas on YouTube, it's more about keeping the viewer on the platform, right? Moving from video to video uh, with ads they might try to fit in to that flow. That's it in a nutshell. Well, you now Eric goes into a lot more detail about the results we got in our study and the reasons behind the different search algorithms on Google and YouTube in his blog post about our study. You'll find a link to that in the notes for this episode. And now, a word from our sponsor. Hello, I'm Google. And I'm YouTube. Okay, YouTube, you win. I mean, you're young, you're hip, you're, everybody likes you. I just can't compete with your popularity. Oh, now, Google, don't be so hard on yourself. I'm sure you have your uses. Ah, oh, my toilet is leaking, and I don't know how to fix it. 
I've got tons of videos to help with that. But first, here's some kittens hanging from a trinnet bar. Well, looky there. My first result is a video on how to fix a leaky toilet. Oh, Google, you're so useful. Wait, crazy wedding dances? Celebrities without makeup? Shopping mall flash mobs? 